Okay guys, so I'm going to be doing a voiceover for this video. I did because I was not able to record voices. So here we go, first voiceover. A also thanks to Pop Lover 108, aka Clover. So basically I'm just saying hi. So hey guys. Well, I ended up correcting this actually. I ended up changing it to Angel Pups because that's what you guys are. So I said, hey Angel Pups. I type really slow. <laughs> um, back at you with another Minecraft video. Um, again, no audio, sadly. I would have loved to get some of the audio we used. It was great. Um, I actually cannot see the uh, rest of the words because of what happened. So hey Angel Pops, back at you with another Minecraft video, um, but this time I'm with Clover. Um, again, thank you to Clover for allowing me to record our session, even though it was, well, it was quite a boring one at that. But we did get a lot done for the most part-ish. Um, I'm hoping that this is better than I think it is, because it was really bad, and yeah. Um, so I said, all that, um, again, sorry about the watermark, I don't know. Yeah, so, let's get started! Hey! <laughs> um... I don't know why I typed that, honestly. I, I said it out loud. Um, so I was basically just asking her if she knew how to fly. Because um, she's a little newer at Minecraft. So I was asking her if she knew how to fly. And I said, let's go find a place. And then I'm like, oh my god, this is perfect. We, And then I explained how it would look like. Um, like this, like over in that, in that plains area that I'm flying over to now is, would be like where the barn is, and then that lake area with the things like, thing with the pumpkins would be like a paddock of some sort. That ended up not happening, though probably will in the future. Maybe, I'm not sure. Um, so we had to pull out the ground. So this took a long time long time, like, overly long, oh, uh, yeah, she started breeding pigs, and I decided to do something she would, that I thought she'd hate, but she honestly didn't care, um, she ended up, I ended up killing the pigs, I killed them all, and we didn't even use their meat, because we're in creative, so, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing, so this is when we started clearing things out and I was looking around. Um, I did skip some of the major- I did skip some of- This was way too long, honestly, for what it really is. Because the majority of it is just us clearing things out. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry for that. I am recording this really late at 11.12 be exact as you can probably see on my phone but uh yeah that's uh doing this really late at night um when i have school tomorrow so that's gonna be interesting um but uh yes yeah, so clearing stuff out talking stuff like that um this is when i started to get light to blue dye because we had gotten horses well, we were planning on getting horses, at least, and I wanted to use dyed leather. My boyfriend actually showed me how to do this. Um, so basically what you do is you get a cauldron, water, and the dye of your ch- You get the- you put the water in, then you dye the water, um, and then you grab the leather armor and you hit the leather 
armor on the pot, and then you have dyed leather armor. Um, so, yeah. So we had a Jeb. We have a Jeb. Um, we have a Jeb. We have color-changing sheep. We actually got rid of one of the jabs later on. So, this is when she discovered pandas. She discovered that pandas were a thing, and I had hit the panda after feeding it and after growing it up. I had a panda, and then I hit it, and then I fed it again, and then I grew it, and then I grew it up. I grew, grew, I made it bigger, and then when they started eating, we both started freaking out because it was really adorable, and so we ended up box to start out with. My dogs actually ended up attacking the pandas, and we lost one. We lost one of the pandas, sadly. Um, but now we have two beautiful pandas again. I actually think one of them is a baby right now. Um, I'm not completely sure. Or they're both bigger. I'm, again, not completely sure. Um, this video is going to be way shorter than the original video that is playing right now on the screen. Um, but yeah, so we had pandas. I placed on the bamboo um, so they would have it. And then she told me to sit up my dogs and did that end badly. They go and attack the pandas. This is when we lost one of the pandas. I felt so bad. Because I had hit the panda. That's right. So we ended up losing one of them. Um, I ended up punishing them by making them sit in the rain for a bit. Um, Droplet and Raindrop are their names. I felt so bad. We lost one of the pandas. Um, I'm really hoping that... I was really hoping that we hadn't lost one of the pandas, but we ended up losing them, so, yeah. And then we ended up extending it, the paddock. So this is where we were. I was working on the horse paddock while she was working on the panda area. Um, and then she created the panda area. Um, this is what it. This is what the updated panda area looks like. We still have the glass box there, but it's more for like growing some bamboo and stuff. Um, and some vines you'll see that in a bit um i decided to add some vines because i thought oh that'll make the pandas feel right at home like that'll make them feel so at home it'll be great um nope <laughs> well it, it probably does i'm not sure i ended up changing up like once or twice maybe um sorry about that also if you're feel if you're like hearing the vibrating sound it's a my phone's going off, but I'm trying to ignore it so I can do the voiceover thing for this video. Um, but yeah, so we just decided to get the enclosure a bit. We fixed up the glass house for the bamboo, and then we continued on.